You know, it's funny to me because everybody's always like, oh, you have to be so used to the activity that goes on in the manor. Aren't you used to it by now? Blah, blah, blah. No. So I'm just showing up for the day. Okay, I'm showing up for the day. I'm gonna clean up after the group that was just here. I'm gonna get things ready for the group that's coming later that night, and that's it. And I start hearing, like, what could only be sound, like described as like a, a banging sound. If these were like footsteps or whatever, they were super heavy, right? So I'm almost gonna say like knocking, banging, something like that. What do I do? I hear it. And then, like a good little paranormal investigator, go after it. So guys, I am here at Malvern Manor. I just got here for the day. And just cleaning up a little bit after the group had just left. I'm hearing knocking coming from down this hallway here. So I grabbed a couple pieces of equipment in this camera and we're just going to slowly cruise down and, and see if we can maybe have some kind of an interaction. Hello? It's just me. It's just Josh. Like I was hearing some knocking or something. Guys, it's the middle of the damn day. Hello, Rebecca. So. We have this fun little thing too. My buddy Robert Gray um, is letting us borrow this momentarily. It's called the the Fantune Radar Plus. Hello. Hello. What the hell is happening? Definitely a knock. Anyway, guys, what this device is supposed to do is we are going to set it up. It's going to tell us if there's movement around the device. It's kind of like a, uh, like a radar, uh, for lack of a better term, I suppose. I am going to place this, oh boy, I'm trying to think of what's the best way to do this. Put it on a chair. So maybe if we put it on a chair here and we uh, just turn it on, we'll give it a few to calibrate. Okay, so now it's going. Okay, so maybe it's calibrated. <laughs> I'm just going to step away from the device in case that is me that is making that thing go off. And I hope you can hear that go off. What was that noise that I just heard over here? Huh? You know, honestly, guys, I have a few of these cat balls. Maybe we just, we're going to trip this sensor, obviously. But if we put these down, maybe over here, that's me. Put these things. That one seems to be broken. Yeah. Okay. 
So I have just three cat balls that I put there. That is still me. Okay. So we'll let those cat balls kind of die off there. All right. Everything is set. I should be far enough away from that device that I am not going to trip it. I'm going to walk back and forth. Walk back and forth. Not tripping that device. Uh, kind of waving my hand up in the sky and moving back and forth. Nothing, nothing, nothing. We should be okay. So, as long as we don't go probably past this, uh, maybe even this threshold here, that door right there, I'm not sure. But if we could stay back from that, I think we'll be okay. All right. So earlier, guys, I was hearing something, what sounded to be like walking or knocking or something. I don't know, like heavy, heavy footfalls or maybe knocking on a wall or something like that. I was hearing it, but I know it's coming from back here. Hell. Okay. Here's the uh, infamous door that I got locked inside of. We have to somehow manipulate that open there. Open the door, hopefully it just goes all the way. There we are. Okay. And it is quite windy outside. It's kind of a weird, stormy kind of a day. All right. Rebecca, was it you that I heard knocking earlier? Was it you? I hope you're having a good day. I just thought I would come and, and say hello. All right, so is anybody down this direction? Can anybody... Make sure I stand back. I just don't... I don't want to cause any false positives on any of this stuff. All right, is there anybody down here that would like to speak with us? Guys, we're going to test the threshold too, okay? I am going to step forward. So I am right about in the middle of this door frame right now. As far as like proximity to that device. So I'm going to walk to the, to the left and walk to the right, okay? We're going to go forward just a couple feet. Okay. So I think we found it. <laughs> I think we found it. If I take a step forward again, this should trigger. And hello, Mr. Catball.
Hello. But that thing is just going. It's just going. Okay. Um, maybe a voice of some sort in here. And then another rustling sound down there. Now, again, it is windy outside. I can't necessarily discount the fact that it is windy outside. And maybe that noise that I heard down there was that. But whatever was in here. Hello. Guys, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try this again just for my own peace of mind, but taking a step forward just past this door frame to make that trigger. And one, two, three. There we are. Perfect. Okay, so that is the threshold then. If we can just stay away from that door frame, don't go anywhere past that door frame, we should be fine. I tell you what, I saw the, the cat ball go off. Is there a way that you could make another one of those go off for me, please? Can you do that? I'm sure you guys know who I am. My name is Josh. I'm really trying to stay, stay back. My name is Josh, and I'm sure that you've seen me here pretty much every single day. Okay. Footsteps. Okay. Footsteps. Okay, footsteps. Okay. Interesting. Um, huh. <laughs> Guys, that was most definitely footsteps on a laminate floor. I'm going to go into the room. Hello? That's me. Jesus. All right. Okay. Well, obviously, I mean, there's nothing in here. Nobody in here, I should say. What the f Okay. What the f Okay. What the f Okay. Disembodied footsteps, and if you listen carefully, if you listen carefully, guys, there are four footsteps that happen during that time period. It's like one, two, three, four. There's moments where I'm talking over that, but if you listen, you'll be able to you'll be able to hear it. Especially when I threw in the uh, the enhanced audio. Uh, so definitely listen for that too. Fascinating, but I also like it. It freaked me out a little bit. Let's be honest here. Um, 
but being inside of that room and having something walking what sounded like directly in front of me, that was something that was kind of next level. That was something that was like, okay, like that's the stuff that kind of excites me a little bit, just because now you have the prospect of possibly interacting more with whoever or, or whatever is happening, right? Um, that's the good stuff to me. Guys, those footsteps were happening yet again. I hope we captured that on audio, but that was insane. Are you in this room with me? Let me see if I have anything that would work. Oh God. Okay, I have a, a cat ball that's barely working and this cat ball I think is totally dead. Awesome, frick man. We'll try this. I'm just gonna leave that over there. I mean, it still lights up, it's just quite dim. Okay, so we'll let that kind of set and calibrate. What the fuck is going on with that thing? Look at it, guys. Can you do that again, please? What the frick? Guys, I don't know if you noticed that ball moving and maybe it was just the way I placed it. If I placed it a certain way, maybe it just kind of rolled funny, but that was fucking insane. Like that ball was moving. Maybe it was just how I placed it. I don't know. All right. So if anybody was in this room with me and walking around and doing all that fun stuff, is there a way that you could go over to that ball that's right in the middle of the door frame and touch it, move it, bump it just slightly so we can see it. It lights up with those pretty colors. I'd like to see that. Can you do that for me? Not for nothing, but you really don't have to hide anymore. Like, I heard you. I heard you walking in this room now. More than once. I've heard you walking in this room. Okay. I'm going to step out of the room and I want to see how everything else is going out here. Okay. So if you were, if you wanted me back in this room, could you make a noise of some sort? Is there a way you could do that? Again, guys, I'm just trying to stay away from this door frame. Like that line right across the hall, that's pretty much our cutoff spot in order not to trip that thing over there. What the hell? Okay. Definitely like a voice. Hello. I'm 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 going to trip this sensor. I have to go down.
Hello? I will say this thing is pretty cool. It's pretty sensitive, pretty accurate, but it's also, it's also fairly quiet. Hello. Well, it is nothing paranormal, guys. These rooms had been rented out for storage when we acquired the building. I've told that story before. Um, okay. I think I'd like to stand still and not trigger that, but at the same time, <laughs> if anything paranormal does trip that I'm way too close for it to be considered paranormal because of just me being too damn close so I'm going to take myself out of the equation so let's cruise this way I'm going to trip that a few more times okay so here's our door frame we're now past the door frame walk 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 Okay, we're good. Okay. So we do know officially that it's not going to be me setting that off if it does in fact go off. However, I hope I hear it because again, it's rather quiet. shower curtain right there just scared the hell out of me. Duh. All right, guys, well, I, w I really would like to hear you speak or, or knock or, I mean, anything at this point. Just to let me know that you're here, please. Anybody in this hallway, like anybody in this hallway that wants to say something, please feel free to do so. That's a car passing outside, probably a truck, in fact. But... Gosh. You know, we've been having like unseasonably warm temperatures here in Iowa, and it is still just cold as shit back here. All right, guys, well, I appreciate your time. Any more 
banging or walking type sounds that you wanna you wanna lay on me real quick while I'm still here? I have to double check the footage about how I placed this ball down. Because I mean, there's no mistaking the ball was moving. It was absolutely moving and it continued to move. However, was it the way I set it down? Was it an un, like an uneven floor or was it a combination of all of that? I have no idea. What the fuck was that? Hello. <laughs> Guys. Holy shit. I ain't, um, I don't know if we picked that up on audio or not. Guys, that sounded like a, like a hiss. What the fuck? Are you hissing at me? That makes no sense. Uh. There's no freaking way. Again, I'm just trying to stay back. There's no freaking way. Make that noise again. Please. Can you please make that sound again? I have no idea. I have no idea. Story of my life. At one point, I do remember, and I was just about to wrap everything up, um, like everything had seemed to kind of calm itself down. I was wrapping up, and then I hear what sounded like a hiss. I know we didn't capture this on audio, but this, was bizarre this sounded like a hiss almost like like a snake but like a big ass snake um like a hiss and it happened twice and it wigged me out so much because i was like okay like i want this to happen again obviously do it again do something maybe speak or something and true to form, Malvern Manor's like, no, that's all we're gonna give you for right now. That's all you get for right now. Um, so yeah, ultimately, this was a cool investigation. Very impromptu investigation. Nothing was you know, planned out about this. It was quite literally, oh, you hear spooky noises, go after spooky noises, that's it. Um, and so I try to do the best I can, obviously, when things like that are happening. But again, like this camera is always, always charged up and ready to go. Um, just on the off chance that something does, something noteworthy happens, right? Um, naturally, it's an old building. There's creaks and bangs and snaps and pops and things like that, which is going to happen in an old building that was built in 1869. Of course, you're going to have that. Uh, but it's the things like the voices and the steps and the knocks and the bangs and the things like that, that really kind of make you wonder like, hmm, what's going on here? And then yes, grab the camera and go. Um, I thought it was a good investigation for what it was. Was it anything completely earth shattering? That's debatable, I suppose. Like for some people, um, for some people that would be enough to send them out the door. For other people, for other investigators or whatever, they might just be like, oh, there's footsteps in this room. 
that something disembodied is is hissing at me. <laughs> you know what I mean? No. That right there was probably enough to damn near send me out the door. That was that was very close. Um, but ultimately, I thought it was a good investigation. I thought, yes, of course, certainly things happened. Yes. Um, again, nothing insane, nothing crazy, nothing earth shattering. Disembodied footsteps, certainly. That's awesome. Uh, a dis, you know, a uh, excuse me, a cat ball went off. Um, speaking of cat balls, at one point in time, I took a cat ball and I put it down uh, in that room, and noticed then the cat ball was swaying and rolling just a little bit. It was rolling around and stuff. I have dug and dug and gone over this and over this and over this. And yes, I would almost suggest that it was me. It was the way that I placed it down and immediately stepped away from it. I think the reason why it was moving was due to the fact that the way I placed it, number one. Number two, maybe the floor was uneven, just right. I don't know. Guys, again, watch the footage, rip it apart, do whatever. Um, it's, it's interesting. It's interesting. Um, I don't necessarily think that it's anything paranormal, if I'm being completely honest with you. Um, but anyway, guys, I hope you're doing great. Each and every one of you, um, God, you guys are phenomenal. I love all the, uh, the support, the love, the likes, the shares, all of that stuff, the comments, guys. I love that. Um, keep them coming guys you are phenomenal i'm definitely gonna get kirsten back here um you know to to get back into these videos and all that stuff she has been feeling under the weather lately and so she just hasn't been able to um you know she's just not in the mood and i can't necessarily say i blame her especially when you're sick you're not feeling well but guys thank you all of you i appreciate you and we'll talk to you soon peace